rejoicing in the resurrection of our Lord and sharing in his peace, let us pray to the Lord on behalf of ourselves and all people as they have need. O risen Savior, set free our tongues to confess your resurrection before the world, still captive to sin and death. Give us courage to go to every place and to speak in every language the salvation won for us upon the cross and the hope granted to us of life that death cannot overcome. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O risen Savior, make us to burn with the fire of your love, that we may love you above all things and love our neighbors as ourselves. Deliver us from the fear and relief the anxiety in our hearts, that we may live out fully in the hope planted within us and in the new lives we receive in the waters of holy baptism. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O risen Savior, anoint the words of those who share your gospel and open the ears to hear with faith all that he has done to save us. Raise up many who will serve you in the various callings of your church, who will serve us in your name with your word and gifts. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O risen Savior, hear us on behalf of our president, our governor, the Congress of the United States, and all state and local officials. Guide them according to your word that their labors for our nation's health and welfare may not be in vain, nor forgetful of the vulnerable, the aging, and the unemployed. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O risen Savior, Across our nation, so many are imprisoned. Bless all prison workers that they may be humane and serve with integrity. Bless those incarcerated with hope for a future and amendment of life and help them to serve their sentences with patience and trust in you. Bless their families who love them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son instituted the Blessed Sacrament to eat and to drink that what is promised in his testament may be truly received by his friends and heirs. Have mercy on all who are kept from your table in this extraordinary circumstance, and do not shut them out of your supper forever. Let the words of this testament echo in their ears and hearts in true faith. Let them believe these words, trusting that they will receive spiritually in faith exactly what your Son has both won and declared the forgiveness of sins. Stir up in us a desire to commune with our fellow Christians on your true body and blood and bring us soon to the table. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Our risen Savior, accept the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving from our lips and the tithes and offerings we bring this day. Increase in the hearts of your people, delight in your mercy, gratitude for all your benefits, and eagerness to support the mission of your church in word and deed. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have opened up to us the way of eternal life and the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for all those who have gone before us in the faith and now rest from their labors. Keep us in that same faith and embolden us by your resurrection to be fearless in the face of disease, chaos, loneliness, and every sorrow of this world. Give us with Job the solemn expectation to cheer us. Our Redeemer lives, and we too shall be resurrected and glorified to live with him in his eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O risen Savior, hear us on behalf of those who cry to you in any need, especially the sick, the suffering, the disabled, the wounded in spirit, those who suffer mental illness, and those in their last days. Give them grace according to their need and sustain them in their afflictions for the day when their sufferings will be exchanged for glory in the life to come. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Now into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, both at the altar and in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Thank you.